Jeremy here at Mental Music Meltdown back with another video. What have you today guys is another album review. As you can see from the thumb, uh, thumbnail, it's for The Mighty Accept and their latest album entitled Humanoid. It's their 17th studio album uh, follow-up to the 2021 release uh, Too Mean to Die, which I really love that album, was really good. So I was super pumped that they heard they had another album coming out this year, one of my anticipated albums for sure. These guys are uh, titans in the uh, metal scene from Germany, of course, uh, started back in uh, 1976, but technically uh, the late 60s, if you want to get technical, they were under a different band name. I think it was called Just X or something. Uh, but yeah, but started as, as, as Accept in 1976. Uh, the only remaining member left in the band right now is uh, Wolf Hoffman, the uh, main guitarist, which is pretty much the main sound of the band. And um, yeah, super pumped for this album. Let's jump right in, guys. Honestly, I had mixed feelings on this album. Um, we'll go through the pros and cons and I'll give my overall thoughts. Uh, 11 tracks in total. There's a special edition that has like a cover song as a bonus track, but I only went through the, uh, the standard edition. It's 48 minutes in length. It was released through Napalm Records on April the 6th. Uh, sorry, April the 26th. Uh, so it's been out for a little over a week. I'm a little bit late on this one, but... Um, I just wanted to listen to it a few times and digest it a bit. Um, in terms of production, Andy Sneep, so you know exactly how it's going to sound. The drums have some heaviness to them. The, the bass is warm sounding. The guitars are crunchy. Andy Sneep kind of found that kind of sweet spot in the, in the mixing board and never touches the dial and just leaves it like that for every time. Every time you hear an Andy Sneep uh, production on a record, you know what it's going to sound like. So it's a positive because it always sounds heavy and in your face and very bombastic. Um, standard tracks for me, out of the 11, the opening track, uh, Diving Into Sin, pretty good solid uh, standard track, uh, pretty rockin' song, pretty high energy. It could have, They could have had a song that had a little bit more punch to it in my opinion at the beginning, but still a really solid song, uh, one of the standards in my opinion on the album. Uh, the second track, Humanoid, the title track, was a really good song as well. They put a little bit more effort into this one, had a little bit more crunch, a little bit more balls to it. Um, the riffs were a little bit more memorable and a uh, pretty good tune on that one as well. I really enjoyed the Reckoning. Uh, rec rec the Reckoning had kind of a Judas Priest feel to it. Really cool riffs on that one. Really good melody and kind of groove to it. Really enjoyed that one as well. And uh, Mind Games was definitely a standard track for me. Uh, it was like a very epic sounding heavy metal song, almost bordering on power metal. Just had that really triumphant, epic sounding melody to it and feel to it. And again, another song that they put a little bit more effort into in, in writing and kind of making it sound a little bit more involved and more um, dynamic. And the last track, uh, South Side of Hell, uh, was a pretty solid song to oh, close the track as well. Ends on this really kind of really heavy rocker moment. Uh, really good riffs on that one, kind of a mid, mid paced banger. Uh, so pretty solid tune there as well. So out of the 11, you know, five or six of the songs stood out to me. They were pretty, pretty decent, really good songs. The rest of the songs weren't necessarily bad, uh, but I found them to be kind of the same. They're just kind of rehashing old ideas from previous albums. I didn't really hear anything new. It was just kind of typical except, which is good because except kicks ass. But I just didn't hear any, it just, sounded, it just felt um, unmotivated or uh, uninspired. It just kind of, you know, they threw in all their all the tropes of what Accept do and just put in another bunch of songs and that kind of how it, how it felt to me. Um, there was one song on there, uh, Ravages of Time, was like a ballad type of song. Kind of cool to change up the pace. It wasn't a great song, but had a nice kind of a soft melody to it. And it did show off uh, the lead singer's kind of uh, Mark Torello's, Tornello, sorry, uh, softer side to his voice when he kind of brings down that gruffness and goes more clean sounding. It had a nice sound to it. Um, so that was kind of cool in parts. Uh, the song, two songs on here really reminded me of ACDC. Uh, Man Up had a kind of a fun chorus and vibe to it, but it really had a really strong ACDC kind of vibe to me. And Straight Up Jack, which was the second last song, both of those really reminded me of like Brian Johnson ACDC songs, just the way they were written and the catchiness of the chorus and the build up and stuff. It just really reminded me of ACDC for some reason. But overall thoughts, guys, uh, prones, pros, great, great riff still, 
a lot of memorable riffs, great great guitar work by Wolf still. Uh, drum sounded pretty heavy in, in, in a lot of parts. It was really good that way. Uh, Mark's voice sounded pretty good on all the songs. He still has that really raspy voice. Really suits the music well. Um, downside to the music, I, like I said, it just a lot of it sounded uninspired and kind of the same. Uh, I didn't really hear any new ideas or not too many of them anyways. And some of the songs kind of sounded kind of blended together in my opinion. And I just wish they kind of had, I felt a little, a little uninspired to me. Uh, but I had mixed feelings on this one, guys. When, I, when I'm listening to it, it sounds really cool. I'm like, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm playing air guitar in parts when I kind of heard them a few times. I'm, I'm singing along to some of the choruses. But at the same time, I'm hearing it and I'm like, ah, they should have done something more. The opening track could have been heavier, could have been more in your face and had more balls to it. But I don't know, just overall, just a solid accept album. Not amazing, nothing mind-blowing, but not garbage either. Uh, just a solid album. Um, in terms of me picking it up on hard copy, I'm pretty sure I'll still buy this one, but it'll be an album I pick up for no more than 14 or 15 bucks. That's kind of the cap I would spend on an album like this. Um, but I would still pick it up if it dropped on Amazon randomly to 13 or 14 bucks. I'd pick it up for cheap. I'd have in the collection. I still love it. It's still pretty good. I love Accept. And... Uh, it's pretty solid. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. It might be one that grows on me over time. But as of right now, it's just okay. It's solid. Uh, overall rating, I'm going to give it a 6.75 out of 10. Uh, definitely room, room for improvement. Like I said, sounds good overall. But uh, I just wish they had sounded a little bit more inspired on this album. It sounded like they just kind of threw together a bunch of songs, collecting all the tropes of what they typically do, but didn't really feel... I don't know, it didn't feel like they put a lot of depth and thought into some of the songs. And uh, that's kind of where I landed on this album. So let me know down what, you, what you thought down below, guys, of the album. Um, were you disappointed? Do you, some people probably think it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, I kind of fell in the middle. I thought it was just, just okay, pretty solid, and nothing great, nothing bad. So let me know what you thought below, guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And hit that subscribe button down below to check out more reviews and other great content. And until next time, guys. Keep it metal.